So today I want to talk about a topic on how to organize your army or how to play with your trooper in a more organized way. Um, since most of the battle pack, as you can see, most of the battle pack come with four troopers per set. So, um, for example, the 75372 come with one shock trooper, three regular clone trooper. Um, and then you, the ADTE, you know, come with multiple, like, t T12 troopers. Uh, and then you move on to the uh, 75280, you come with one jet trooper, three regular trooper. Or like as a 75345, you come with one commander, one sniper, and two heavy gunner. Or even the 332 battle pack, you come with sort of like one, I treat it as captain, even it's Captain Vaughn. Uh, captain, three regular uh, 332 clone trooper. Um, by doing so, it is like the easiest way to set up your army in that way. You can combine with um, two battle pack together. So, for example, let me move around this one. A squad of uh, 501st could be you have one jet trooper covering the sky. You have three regular clone trooper, you know, going in the middle, sort of like fighting a troop, uh, uh, enemy, enemy, and you have a commander at the back and a sniper at the back, and then you can have two heavy gunner on the side. This will be like, you know, a good squad of platoon of 501st to attack, basically combine two battle pack together. Um, you can play around with like, you know, mixing them up. So I take away all those, you know, command. Um, I put a sniper in. So it is still 3, 4, uh, 7, 5, 3, 4, 5, the um, specialist battle pack. And then I switch around their blaster. So you have one sort of like two dual blaster commando and then two shield trooper in front. Um, the shield is actually from the 753, uh, 75166, uh, the first order battle pack. Trust me, guys, that battle pack was underrated. That shield was super nice. I haven't seen it uh, after then. I mean, if you don't have that shield, you can use, actually use the uh, the shield pieces from the 75372 that will do the same, you know, uh, concept. But here is how you, you know, easily to switch around with the troopers. By the way, um, it is, I think, having the troopers setting up with a battle pack way is the easiest for you to, you know, like, play around, to mess around. Um, for example, I really on a budget, but I want to build a really cool uh, clone platoon. So think about like how many battle pack you need. For example, two battle pack to make a squad. I want three. I want three platoon. So you just need your six six battle pack. Uh, one each like seven five two eight zero plus the seven five three four five put together. It's a nice squad. It's done. So. Let's move on to something I want to focus today because we need to get the concept out of the you know four trooper a squad that concept here so we can move on to the next section with the ATTE as well as the Republic gunship from the 2023 the Coruscant Guard Republic gunship. Let's go into it. So recently, I revisited the um, ATTE with the latest uh, 75372 Chrome Battle Pack where you get one Shock Trooper free regular. Actually, I found out that a one ATTE from the, seven five, uh, from the 2022 75337, yeah, I think that is the number, you can actually free two squad in there. It is particularly... I love the way that they decided. Um, back in the day, I thought when this uh, um, ATT comes out, it will have 212 battle pack to fill the, fill the ATT in. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But anyway, I'm going to fill, fill, fill them up with the um, ATT. So first off, is, um, in the pilot seat, it is uh, a gunner from the battle pack. Um, from the set from the set seven five three three seven itself usually come with the two twelve troopers but I keep it as a pilot. And then you you know they can feel a shock trooper uh, on top of the uh, um big big gun. And then in front, let's take the pieces. Open, uh, open them. Two troopers in. 
So uh, I put two regular two regular troopers with the short blaster, um, all from the battle pack, and then close it in. Let's put it back in. And then, oops, I will fix it later. And then let me put it back in. Okay. And then you go out here. Open them up. You can actually see. You can actually see. Uh, you can feel the troopers having good five seats in there. Uh, put the two long blaster in. It fill up the troopers. And then let me bring out all the troopers out, and you can see how it is a two squad with a pilot. So up here. Bring that out. So four regular troopers. And then you grow two long blaster. And two long blaster. Second one. And then inside you can fill in the two troopers in there. Bring it out. Bring this piece. You know, it's really good fit for the two guns. Place it back out. And this. And this is how you can fit all nine troopers inside. Um, a good, you know, like a two, a squad of troopers where I, you know, the first section of the, um, of the video talk about four troopers a squad. Here you are. And then this belongs to the ATTE. And this is how one ATTE fit two squad. And then, you know, you can pose it in different position. Uh, bring back in. So you can have the ATTE, you know, like marching down, uh, and then the troopers is around, you know, like deploy the trooper, or you can have like a shock trooper up there, and then rest of the troopers just, you know, like work, uh, walking toward the location that they need to attack. So this is how ATTE works. Now let's go into the Republic gunship from the 2023. So in the Republic gunship, it's a very similar um, mechanism. Um, it is, you know, like you have shock trooper in front, uh, you have the regular, uh, phase two in there. So now I'm going to open to feel, to see what I fit it in. So their weapons, I put it inside here. So I just place it in there. As you can see, place it in there, pretty easy. Um, you can build something to, you know, like put the troopers, to put the weapons in. Um, but because the, the room is kind of small, so I just throw it in and then, Inside, actually, uh, you have like stud and stud, and then the, like a flat area. So you put the gun; it doesn't move that many, uh, move around. So it's all good to me. Uh, the and then and then the cargo area or the you know carrying carrying troopers area, I fit five each side. Um, it is, you know, the question is that it is the latest design is one door so it's actually getting really hard to you know like to put stuff in to bring it out i i found it's really easy just pull that out pull this pin out once you pull this pin out you get a large room to do whatever you want to do in there and then you know put back to put the pin in or you can decide it to you know the dual door method to change this to change around the gunship but for me i think that this you know i'm happy with the minimum adjustment is just to pin out and pin in uh, inside probably play let me place it out this time I switch them all to a normal blaster so you got um, one squad and then the extra troopers the reason why I will explain it later on uh, and then three more trooper uh, on the other side so the second squad it's in here And in here, and then you go in to more in there. So now, place it in, and then the third squad is actually the whole pilot section, including the pilot section. So it is a really good free squad filled in a troop, uh, filled in a gunship. So I think that is. 
um, you feel a, mo a lot more trooper than the ATTE. But in theory, isn't the ATTE should carry more trooper than the gunship? But anyway, by doing so, combining the you know, 2023 um, gunship set and then the 2022 ATTE set, you get like one gunship, one ATTE, five battle pack, um, five, you get 20 troopers, I think 20 troopers, fill it in, and then you're good to go. And I think it is amazing to play in this way, so you don't need to like buy heaps of the battle pack, you can just like buy a battle pack that fills in the gunship and the ATTE, um, I guess this is sort of more economic way to do it, um, as well as it helps you to think about how many battle pack you need in your collections or to fill in the ships. And now let's go into my you know like a little display where I call all the troopers out from all the ships and then bring it into a formation. And after deploying all the troopers from the ships and then the ATTE, five gunship at the back, deploying uh, three battle packs. So I think it's 11 troopers. Um, one of one troopers on the pilot seat, 11 troopers um, per ship, and then all, almost 50 troopers at the back. And then in front, it is three ATTE. I do have more of ATTE, but just didn't build it. I uh, didn't have the space for it. So uh, three ATTE, each ATTE, deploying seven troopers out, and then one troopers on top. That troopers can be, you know, that shock trooper can actually bring it to the ground, but um, it looks better on consistency to put in on the cannon side. So, um, and then three gunner inside the ATTE to sort of like control the ATTE. And this is very easy setup, a battle formation. Um, everything can be, you know, put it back into the ship and then without the troopers and then you can imagine like, oh, we need reinforcements, send a gunship in, two squad of troopers deploying out, just like this, you know, two of the troopers deploying out, um, and then this is how it looks like in a battle formation and this is one of the best way, or well, I wouldn't say the best way, but one of the um, more cost-effective way to, you know, like, organize your troopers, and it is really, really fun to do so. Of course, the back, it is the UCS Venator right there, um, and then it is the background with all the ships I have. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video, and may the force be with you.